Ragdoll Cat vs. Ragamuffin Cat What are the differences between the two beautiful cat breeds? These two large-sized cat breeds usually weigh 10 to 20 pounds. With positive reinforcement, Ragdoll and Ragamuffin cats learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. The Ragdoll and Ragamuffin cats are an all-around best buddy to just about everyone. They love their human families even children and will get along with other pets fairly well. Docile, sweet, and happy to relax for a good cuddle session, these loving ragdoll and ragamuffin cats will even greet their humans at the door when they come home. If you're looking for a companion, you can't find a much better choice than one of these easygoing felines. Unlike many cats, ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. Ragdoll Cat is possibly the most laid back of all the domestic cat breeds. These cats are basically content and undemanding and tolerate most situations. They have an extremely gentle and relaxed nature, and make loyal and devoted pets. There is an old wives tale that these cats are immune to pain, but this is totally untrue. Their relaxed disposition stems from a very trusting nature, not a lack of feeling. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. Like his cousin the ragdoll, the ragamuffin is a huggable lug who wants nothing more than to follow his people around and sit in a lap whenever possible. A nice combination of sweet and smart, he is often described as a puppy-like for his friendly personality and willingness to play fetch, learn tricks and walk on a leash. He greets visitors warmly and would meet you at the door with a martini if only he had opposable thumbs. Given their name, it should be no surprise that ragamuffins have the tendency to stretch out and go limp in their owner's arms like, well, a rag. Often called puppy-like, these large fur balls are attention seekers, who enjoy playtime, walk on a leash, and can even learn a trick or two. This is a mellow cat but one who craves attention. Don't get a ragamuffin if you will have to leave him alone for many hours every day. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Problems that may affect the ragdoll and ragamuffins are. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a form of heart disease that is inherited in ragdolls and ragamuffins. A DNA-based test is available to identify cats that carry one of the mutations that cause the disease. The ragamuffins can be also predisposed to polycystic kidney disease. This condition made its way to ragamuffins from their Persian cat ancestors and can cause renal failure. An already large breed, ragdolls and ragamuffins can have a tendency to overeat, which makes them more susceptible to obesity. Every cat is unique and each has its own particular likes, dislikes, and needs when it comes to food. However, cats are carnivores and every cat must obtain 41 different and specific nutrients from their food. The proportion of these nutrients will vary depending on age, lifestyle, and overall health, so it's not surprising that a growing, energetic kitten needs a different balance of nutrients in her diet than a less active senior cat. Other considerations to bear in mind are feeding the right quantity of food to maintain ideal body condition in accordance with feeding guidelines and catering to individual preference regarding wet or dry food recipes. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Seasonal changes, as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats, can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. Ragdolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Ragdolls usually go through several growth spurts as they mature. Ragdolls sold as pets may have slight cosmetic imperfections that make them unsuitable for the show ring. These might include ears set higher on the head than preferred, a nose that doesn't turn up at the tip, eyes that aren't crater lake blue, or maybe mitts that don't go up high enough on the hind legs. 
As long as they have the sweet, loving ragdoll temperament, none of that really matters for a cat who will be a beloved companion instead of a show ring star. The ragamuffin soft coat is long, but its texture is tangle resistant. Weekly brushing or combing is all that's needed to remove dead hairs and keep them looking beautiful. This is a large cat, and they mature slowly, not reaching their full size until they are 4 years old. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim their nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of their eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check their ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50-50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the ragdoll and ragamuffin's litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. Speaking of litter boxes, a large cat like the ragdoll and ragamuffin need a box that is supersized to ensure that he has plenty of room to turn around and squat. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from attacks by dogs or coyotes, diseases spread by other cats, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Ragdolls who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The laid-back ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. The calm and even-tempered ragamuffin is an ideal family cat. He doesn't mind being held or carried around by a child or dressed up and pushed in a baby buggy. He is playful and smart, one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. Always teach children how to hold the cat properly, supporting both the hind end and the front end, and have little children pet him while they are sitting on the floor or on a sofa so they can be on the same level as the cat without trying to hold him. After all, they may weigh more than they do. They are also friendly toward other pets, including dogs, other cats, birds, rodents and lizards. To this gentle giants, everyone is his friend. Nonetheless, it's always a good idea to introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.